Greetings, fellow sea ice monsters. Rodamont here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Biotech The First Wendigo, Episode 40, Grenadier. Okay, we good now? You got fed. Let's go. I'm still trying to hold off on not using the beam targeter, though. It would very quickly solve this. I'm only going to use that if I think I'm going to have a mental break. Because what can end up happening here is if we play our cards right and we take out the ship, all these scythers will um, start heading towards... We'll start heading towards our base and we can uh, use the base defenses to take them down. So what I'm hoping to do is just sort of continuous hit and run on these scythers. They're getting a bit touchy. All right, here's what I'll do. Area one. Get my mechs up here. I don't know. I. I I'm double backing on that. I think I'm just going to beam them. So that I, I can make some reasonable progress. Because I still have the stupid fog to deal with, which is going to ruin our ranged accuracy, and then I'm going to be mortared in 10 days. So, uh, I think it's worth it. She's about to have a mental break. So, Max, go down to the fight zone. Oh. I'm going to need to smoke first, aren't I? Okay, I'll just do it like this. God, these guys, they don't take damage, do they? I'm an idiot. Yeah, I forgot about that. All right, Wendy. Come back inside. <laughs> Should I gift myself another one for my stupidity? Yes or no? I forgot that they're beam immune. It did look cool. Briefly. Have you guys voted on that? Um, Alright. That means we just have to sort of shoot it. Uh, I do have another technique for shooting it that I think will work better. Growth moment. Pyromaniac. Oh, good. That's what we need out of uh, our babies. Pyros that uh, set everything on fire. Why are you mental breaking? Zach Dyer, thanks for the gifted sub. Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll use a different tactic. But you'll decide on the beamer or not. So the different tactics is going to require a little bit more, uh, oops, you're gone. Wow, Mass's certainty about our ideology is disappearing very quickly. The aid, oops, the aid cooldowns are too long. They're not going to be uh, useful anytime soon. They're like 26 and 31 days. Oh, hi. Look at you. 47 years old, leading out in six.
have T-Sang try to patch you up. Works for me. Can they cook? Uh, they can't become a slave. It's not allowed. So it doesn't matter if they can cook. Just keep, uh, keep on gaining. All right, it looks like you guys are gonna gift me another one for my stupidity, cool. Don't waste that one. So my next strategy, I think, is going to be to try to lure skip the Scythers and isolate them into um, sort of a kill area. The trouble is I'm going to have a lot of mental breaks uh, attempting this. But I don't know. That's I guess that's my problem, right? I would be... Okay, so we are repairing foxes. Good. Uh, Alright, I am good enough. That means, Curiosity, you are going to be allowed an SMG. And then, Wendy. Oh, wow. They are already pissed off. Perfect. All right, you'll see how this works in just a second. Mass, please open this door. Curiosity, come up here. t saying come up here as well. Okay. probably don't even need to use skip that much because a lot of them don't even have interest right now. They're deciding to self uh, to just come and mess with me, which is great. What I was planning on is skip ripping one of them closer and um, like this. Don't shoot me. And taking out the group of uh, Scythers by isolating them like this over and over until they're all done. Okay, yeah, got your attention. Oops, I forgot that jumping uh, drops aggro. That's fine. Yoink! I'm over here. Oh, don't do that. And do that, you know, 11 more times, it, or 10 more times. It's time-consuming, but it's effective. Okay, if it's going to be like that, I'm going to move my attack force outside. Because it seems like the, the Scythers lose interest too soon. Dang it. Get back here. Oh, 
Randy is very moody. Come on. Yep. If you took the bait. Rinse and repeat. I guess I should technically have red light for this. So there's five. Let's see if I can't isolate some of them out. I'm coming that way. It's fine. This will make it go a little bit faster, fortunately. All right, T-Sings, heat warning. Really? It's on the wrong one. So you should go heat up. And now they only have five left. Not bad. All right, I'm gonna take a break from this because my robots are damaged and Wendy's gonna have a cow. But you get the idea. It's, it's pretty effective. She is smashing things in the room, okay. I'm happy to have the catharsis, I suppose. There's not a lot of vulnerable things in a room, so not that big of a deal. Ooh, <laughs> right through the jade wall. Well, that's one way to have uh, undignified bedroom and throne room at the same time. Okay. So we have taken care of eight out of the 13. And some of these scythers are already damaged, so that shouldn't be too, too hard. Um... Doesn't look like Mass uh, ended up repairing those mechs, though. Uh, the other question is, is there a safe spot for me to shoot this ship? I guess what I could do is I could come up this way with smoke and then get real close to the ship and annihilate it with um, frag grenades once we have all the scythers cleared. And then I can clear out this whole mech cluster with frag grenades uh, to preserve the unstable power cells. And that leaves me still about a week to deal with that autumn order. Um, this mech cluster doesn't look too too hard to deal with, though. Especially when I'm not going to have a minus 50 mood for both me and Mass. Because that is, uh, well, that kind of sucks. All right, so you're repairing critical foxes. Uh, curiosity, I want you smelting. One more granite block. There's a lot of metal clothing that we have that we could uh, obtain the cloth and the steel from. And lifter's done. Nice.
getting these side focus back up so I can skip around. So that's been a really powerful tool. You are on break. Yeah, go eat. And I am ready for another round of this, I think. Yeah, the only way to really exchange um, channel points is to run a prediction and to sort of rig it so that one person predicts and because you can't gift channel points or anything like that. I can't even gift them. It's not uh, something that Twitch allows. All right, pikemen. We'll have the pikemen try to pull. Uh, I'm just going to have Alejandro go out. So I only have to skip one to safety. Another transport crash. Your name is Golik. Golik or something, I don't know. 35 year old male. Uh, they're dead. They're meat. Maybe I need both of them sniping them. My ability to hit them kind of kind of terrible. Hello, Scythers. I would like for you to fight me. Oh my god. One of these days. Maybe. Oh, you see me. Come on, come on. Uh. There we go, I hit one. And it ignored me. And is resetting. They just want Wendy, apparently. Too bad I didn't bring a smoke launcher because then I could, uh, I could, um, smoke and approach so I could skip. Okay, we, we got that one. T saying, I'm actually going to have you switch to smoke. And actually, T saying, because you get cold easily. Load frag grenades in your caravan, grab the smoke launcher, and come back out of here. Uh, I could try to go through the tunnel, but it's, um, I will get shot at here. So I could tell Orange Chaos to, like, try to take out that chunk so we can sneak by. But it's, it's kind of a maneuver, if you will. It's best if the uh, Scythers just come to me on their own accord. Like they're doing now. I don't think Curiosity is helping all that much. About to have a mental break, so I'm going to have Curiosity leave. Oh, here comes the others. Don't have a mental break. I'll take the extra firepower. Oh, too close. Uh, is that the last one? Yeah, that's the last one. So, Max, 
All mechs go to recharge area. Undraft, curiosity, go away. Mass. Um, you can leave too. Wendy. Mine that up. Actually, hmm. T saying, are you going to become too hypothermic for me? Yeah, I'm going to have T saying and, and mass switch spots. Switch places, because I'm a little worried about T saying uh, becoming frozen while trying to do this. So you drop at the caravan. Drop that. Drop that. For the love of God! Mass, were you hungry? Yeah, go steal T Sing's meal. He won't mind. He's not paid to mind. Get it, because we don't pay him. He's a slave. Alright, the Vagabond's quest expires 21 hours. I should be done with this in 21. Mass, you come out here. And we'll finish this stupid uh, droner. Did I steal Randy's girlfriend or something? You'd think. Get out of here. Okay, we are good to take on the ship. Nothing like killing a f uh, polar bear with a frag grenade. Who doesn't like to hunt with frag grenades? Exactly. Exactly. That one's gone. Now for the rest of the cluster. So I'm using frag grenades because uh, frag grenades will not let the turrets um, self-explode, which keeps the unstable power cells from being destroyed. Oh, you saw through my smoke BS. Whatever, still missed. Uh, they get smoke a little closer to those turrets. go okay let's go this way Because if I can save all of the turrets, or all of the unstable power cells, that would be awesome. Okay, that worked. Smoke. Here.
It's a dangerous place to stand, yeah. Absolutely. Because of uh, the potential explosions here. Um, Wendy can skip. So if I do trigger them, she can get out of here. No problem. All right, so that should take that out. Don't fire at will. Uh, let's get closer to these. And I think there's only these three large ones left. And they're further from the unstable power cells, so that that's good. It's like uh, rocket surgery. Come on now. There's a good throw. What? It didn't connect somehow? Okay, uh, just to make sure, I do not see any other turrets. So we are free to punch the weather controller. Why is time slowing down? There it goes. Schwang. The fog has been cleared. Uh, cancel caravan. And behind the walls is going to include here for now. Caravan them? Uh, it's a little too late. I could have. They're very heavy, though. They're 15 kilo. Well, here, I'll, I'll just do it. View a trips. Where is... Oh, yeah. Wow. Being blind. Well, that's most. We're also going to want to get the uh, the polar bears to keep the prisoners fed. bunch of extra power. I I definitely do want to research mortars. So what are we going to do about the bad Uh I say we just accept them. And hope that they don't... Okay, good. I was going to say, hope that they don't enter uh, in, a, in a bad trajectory. Oh man, that is, that is, uh, deal with the mortar cluster. You know, it's not over, but that, that is a big weight off my, my shoulders. Big, big weight. Um, instead of, uh, manipulating behind the lines like this, 
I'm going to remove that. And I'm going to paint in a void zone. So that the lifter bots can go. Well, I can't spell. So that the lifter bots can go kind of wherever they want. So do not come into this quadrant. Whatever else is fine. And, and this should be relatively easy to deal with. I think what we do is we just roll up with smokes to cover ourselves and start lobbing grenades at whatever's in this mech capsule. There doesn't seem to be a call down function or anything like that. So it might immediately print up a blaster. And if so, I'll just skip it to us and take it out uh, with the uh, with scythers in a um, tunneler. She's going to sleep well tonight. Catharsis, Sanguine, attended party, defeated a mech cluster. Uh, the, the area hasn't been inverted yet. True. I haven't used it, though. So, schedule. It's weird seeing these many colonists. So unusual. All right, done. Uh, Solwain, you're just waiting to come out. Actually, perfect. You'll be joining them shortly. <laughs> Operation. Actually, you know what? I'll do this an even cheaper way. Oh, okay, never mind. Anesthetize, anesthetize, anesthetize. Drop your weapons. Be not afraid, for I come for your pieces, your organ pieces. You're sleepy. You're sleepy, and you're uh, tended to and sleepy. Okay, arrest. This way, they they can't resist because they're not conscious, and that way I can do this without uh, any resistance. So who do we get? I don't even know. Uh, we got a baseliner who's forty-eight years old. Uh, they're a slow learner, physically deaf or uh, psychically deaf. You, tortured artist, slow learner. Man, they're all slow learners. And then you are a pigskin. Uh, so the two females are like almost outside of egg range. They're almost too old to um, to have ovum extractions. But uh, I will be able to ovum extract for a bit. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is Pong. You're going to go in for a bit of a ride here. And then these prisoners, no meds. Okie dokie. Uh, next up, this cluster. So I do like my idea of just smoking here with like T-Sang, and then maybe Curiosity with an EMP launcher, launching at whatever pops out of that uh, pod, and then just trashing this as fast as we can. There's no unstable power cells or anything like that, so I really, really could not care any less about um, trying to preserve its for any reason.
Who's on recharge, Alejandro? Wendy, all foxes to the recharger. There we go. I also might want to uh, assemble or actually redesign Pacified Plus. Now that I have uh, awful cooking, Pacified Plus can go down in hunger rate down to 50% really easily, like this. So violence disabled, I don't even really need violence disabled. Well, I guess it it, it gives me the extra uh, metabolic efficiency. So, no, not coolest. Um, pacified plus. I think at this point, all of our mechs are revived. 12, 12, 6, 6. Yep, all mechs are up. Getting all that free power. Kish is uh, grabbing the last one. All right, it's pretty cold out, but I think it's um, I think it's time to take out the last cluster. So all of my mechs converge here. Critical Fox is only 11% power. Not great, but whatever. Nothing like a snow squall to make this spicy, right? hide our footprint as good as we can. I don't even really need frags, I don't think. Alright, what's in the capsule? Lancers. No problem. One. Two. Oh, and the... Why are... Uh... Oh, there we go. Curiosity hit the centipede while my... Um... My heat recovers. And then grab it. Curiosity, no more gunfire. And everybody attack the centipede. Strong stomach, pig voice, slow cooking. Okay, uh, I also want to insert windbin at some point. And then, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're good. 
Is there any way to heat up the map? Only if I got, um... An event that sent me, like... A temperature heating opportunity. So probably not. It's probably it, you know if I end up with a with a a temperature a mech cluster with like a temperature device, it would likely uh, lower the temperature just further. Global warming, yeah. If only there was such thing as global warming on demand. Ooh, uh, not lest we forget that back one. Never mind. Keep smoking us here. Hmm. Actually, the pike can keep doing it. Oh, perfect. That works. Once this assembler's out of the way, we'll go for the Arctic Charge turret. There it is. And last turret. Minus the mortar. Okay, we're done. Max, go recharge. Wendy and Mass take out the mortar, and that's uh, a psychic ship and two two mech clusters. I would uh, I would very much appreciate Randy chilling for a minute. I doubt he will, but like, you know, if I got my way, that's what he would do. Alright, a uh, question for all of you. Uh, voting for priority. Now that I'm finally freed up to do some not defending the colony type stuff, uh, what do you want to see me do next? Quest for the Glitter Wand Artifact, which is a legendary Eltec staff. Prepare to take on a mech boss. Craft weapons and armor. Build a farm. Uh, build a maze entrance. Expand the kill box. Organize storage. Head to a nation complex or view suggestions. What's my wealth at? It is 160. Oopsies. This was a 25-year-old male baseliner. Could have been a slave, but I don't. I don't think I'm gonna enslave uh, any of the new ones anyway. I will now that it's a little bit less chaotic. Growth vent this embryo. And then I also need to probably Xenogerm Curiosity, because Curiosity without a Xenogerm uh, doesn't do very much. Just kind of is. 
Okay, Wendy is going to be on research. And then once she creates some of the prisoner pacifying xenogerms, um, ooh, a bulk constrator. I will, uh, I'll have her research mortars. The unstable power cells are not walled. I know. I'm, uh, I have plans for that. I was planning on making a breach axe to be able to get rid of this Warwalker torso so that it can actually have space to wall them in because the Warwalker to torso's physically in the way. So, Orange Chaos, you are going to be sent to go to group two, which is work and work behind the walls. Did I already assemble this image room? Oh, no. Uh, Wendy just stopped. My guess is with these guys, these bulk constraters, uh, they're going to leave very quickly because it's super cold. So I'm going to run out there. And yep, there they go. I even have to like skip myself ahead. All right. You were trying to leave, but I didn't allow it. What do you got for me? I forgot to learn the focus trainer. I'll have to get around to that. I'm going to buy the herbal meds because I kind of need herbal meds. That's it. Buy the meat? Nah. If I run out of meat for the prisoners, I'll just kill them. Mess. There is a breach axe. Did we actually make the breach axe? We must have. Where'd you put it? There it is. Ooh, it's masterwork. Nice. Mess, grab the masterwork breach axe. Get rid of this Warwalker torso. Breach axe is really good against Warwalk torsos. I didn't want to take a, a year to be able to uh, get rid of it. So, so it looks like uh, we have kind of a kind of a tie. So I'm gonna have you do a tie break between building a farm and preparing to take on a mech boss, because those were the two highest rated ones. Is it possible to change the answers? I don't believe so, no. Curiosity, you're starving. Okay, Wendy. I need you to butcher human-like. And get cooking. I hate for you to be the cook, but... Maybe at some point we get a fabric core to take over for you.
I have a... Yeah, they had a passion, but they only have four skill. And if they don't have six skill, it means I, I have to have them spend time grinding away, making simple meals. And she's also a slow learner. So her passion's kind of negated from the fact that she uh, is a slow learner. So she's a she's a terrible candidate to be a cook. Given those variables. Did we assemble that Xenogerm? Probably still no. No, we haven't even continued it at all. Thank you for watching The First Wendigo, which originally streamed live on Twitch December 8th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Radamoth.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Radamoth.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you who support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. I'll catch you next episode or upcoming stream. Stay safe out there, my fellow Wendigos.